actually, you know, we, we um, I think I was really surprised by how well it all worked. So we were in lockdown and working from home literally in days. Um, and even though it was a big change for people, it worked really well. You know, we didn't see anything not working or not moving because of it. Um, I must say though that we, our teams have been really home for one and a half years. So, uh, and it was tough. It was tough on people. Um, it was, especially in innovation, um, you do a lot of the creative stuff. Uh, you need the whiteboards and the sticky notes, and, and we really miss that. So, you, obviously you can do stuff over Teams, but it's very different. So now we are opening up a little bit, and Teams get together again, and you feel the relief of people and the happiness, and like, yes, we can do it together again. So, it's been okay, It's been I think we've done really very well, but it's great to be back a little bit to normal. Well, glad to hear it. And uh, with that in mind, is there a key focus for you at the moment in your team? Not necessarily because of that. Mm. Yeah, so yes, we have a focus in our team. Um, so we, we uh, already last year selected um, a couple of what we call focus value spaces with our focus areas of where we want to innovate. So one of the things that we learned over the years is that it's uh, there's limitations to throwing spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. You know, so it, a little bit more focus actually really works. And what we also learned is that. Um, as a bank, we have to work from our strengths. So the more we can innovate around things where RNG has a lot of strength or a huge client base or a lot of knowledge, we are that much more effective. And there, that's also where we can make the difference compared to any other startup, right? So we have five value spaces that we work on. The one is housing. Obviously, we have a large mortgage book, but it's not mortgage, it's housing. So we really want to innovate around the whole housing journey of people. In, it, in the end, people don't want a mortgage, they want a house, right? Um, so housing is one, uh, another one is uh, trade. So we not trade finance, but trade. Um, and we actually recently did a very interesting spin out in, in uh, Singapore, where we have a lab that is working on this. The company that uh, well, is going to the market and is getting clients really big uh, names in, so that's really exciting. We have this rock lending, which is a bit closer to home, but really working with very different concepts uh, in lending. Uh, we have financial health, which is also a bit of a logical one. And we have safe and compliant, which is uh, yeah. the one where uh, also we are, as we speak, hitting the market with, uh, with a couple of uh, new services for clients. Excellent. So in terms of an industry then, you're really hitting those sort of key points. Is there any other topics that you think are uh, um, are kind of maybe driving the trend at the moment or key trends that we're seeing? Yeah, actually, I find that there's a lot of trends. So it's it, 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 a lot of things are coming together. A lot of things that were there, but they now really accelerate. So obviously, yeah, digitalization yeah. Is, has, has accelerated very, very much uh, due to COVID. And what we see is a lot of um, startup initiatives that we had that were pretty far out. But now they are almost hygiene and their digitalization. Uh, and what they are what they are giving us back is that they say, well, you know, first I had to explain to companies why at all they should digitalize this. Well, that's no longer a point of discussion. <laughs> so now it's just why us. And it, it really makes that they can accelerate what they're doing. So that's interesting to see. But obviously the big trends of today are uh, embedded finance. Unbundling is almost a thing of the past. It starts to be rebundling again. So that's that's the thing you see. Um, I think um, distributed ledger technology is getting a lot of traction. Obviously, AI is a big, big, big trend where where you see the real use cases and the real um, applications starting to gain traction. Um, so yeah, a lot is happening in the industry. It's very busy. Very it busy. Is, it is. It is. <laughs> And what about those kind of key solutions uh, that we're looking at at the moment? What do you think is top of the list? Well, no, actually, for me, it's really, it starts with the problem to solve. Yep. So you really have to start with finding the big problems that, that, to solve. Uh, and, and then you find the right solution, right? So, and that's always a little bit of risk with new technologies. It's, it tends to be a solution and then it's looking for a problem. <laughs> and for me, it's really turning it around. So go for the big problems mm -hmm. and then find the right solution with whatever technology serves the problem best. Um, so it, it, that to me is really the order. It's, yeah. it's starting from the problem. 
Excellent. And we mentioned that we're here at Money 2020. So what would you like to get from or, or achieve while you're here at Money 2020? Well, you know, I must say that uh, when I was thinking about going to Money 2020, at first I was like, oh, uh, brr, am I really ready for meeting yeah. this many people already? You know, it was a bit of a scary kind of uh, <laughs> thing to do. But it's so great to see people again and to speak to people. And wh what you see is, you know, you what I like about Money 2020 or events in general, but especially this time after doing such a long lockdown, is you know you you get the little pieces of inspiration and of information again, and you absorb it all, and it makes you sharpen your mind and think, oh okay, so this is where this is moving, and this is where this is moving. So it's early days, and we're only on the first day of Money 2020, but but I already noticed that in my brain the first kind of things pop up. Hey, I should look at this, and we should do something with it. So that's what I like about the events, and uh, it's good to see people again and speak to people. Definitely. Very stimulating. Well, thank you so much for joining me. That's been absolutely brilliant. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me. Yeah.